The first tee shot at Wentworth is really about club selection off the tee and dealing with the wind. Downwind, it's only a three wood, 270 yards to carry it past that bunker, but then you land on a downslope and it tends to run out into the right rough. Some will lay up on a plateau for a flat lie across the valley to a green very well protected by bunkers, three on the left, one on the right. Pretty sloping green from back right to front left. If you've managed to par the first at Wentworth, you come to a classic Surrey Heathland par three second, 143 to the front, so normally a nine iron, maybe just a little tickle with an eight into the breeze, as you can see. Three bunkers around the green, shouldn't really be in play. It's quite a big target, but the green does slope from left to right, so golfers beware. Tee shot at number three is a very difficult one. Two bunkers up the right, 300 yards to carry the second bunker up the right, it's 314 to run out in line with the bunker up the left side. If you manage to get it in a fairway, your troubles are not over. Slightly uphill second shot, deep bunkers front right and front left, and a sloping green. Par here is a great score. The first birdie chance on the west course, new tee about 10 years ago, has really made this tee shot quite claustrophobic and very demanding. Right to left down the hill. No bunkers on this fairway, quite unusual, but it's all about where you pitch it. You want to catch that down slope and just camber around from right to left. That'll probably leave you somewhere between a five iron and a hybrid. It's a quite a tight green that sits across you with two bunkers, as you can see. Four really is par. You'll see the odd three, but sometimes you do see the odd six. It can really change around. The fifth hole is a Harry Colt design, iconic par three. You can very rarely see the bottom of the flagstick. Bunkers protect both left and right. The back half of the green goes away from you, so you have to land it in the front half and let it go down the slope for that back right hole location. Tee shot at number six, actually playing from the east course, number four. So it's quite a long demanding tee shot. Bunkers right and left, both in play, funnily enough. Slightly uphill second, again the green just tends to slope away from you, so about a 9-iron after a tee shot of maybe a 2-iron or a 3-wood. It's a good birdie chance if you can find the fairway, but often the players do hit the bunker on the left. Three bunkers around the green, a good chance for a birdie 3. The tee shot at 7 is beautiful and difficult. You cannot see the landing area, you're hitting over the brow of a hill and landing on a down slope, it's just a layup. Very personal choice on what to play. You do not want to miss the fairway. Coming into this difficult uphill second shot with a demanding green is tough enough out of the fairway. A huge slope separates the front from the back. You want to be on the correct side. Number eight, my favorite par four at the Burma Road. Pretty much a layup down the right hand side. There's a bank on the left, which actually does come into play because the ball always tends to kick towards it. The redesign a few years ago by Ernie Ailes has really changed the look of the second shot penalty area now comes all the way around the front of the green and it means the bailout right is actually quite difficult so really one that you have to stand up and take on and play it is a good chance for a birdie three but if you miss the fairway the second shot can be brutally difficult another beautiful tee shot here at Wentworth the fairway slopes left to right bunkers both left and right really need to be avoided if you can get it in the fairway and warm it between those bunkers it sets up a difficult second shot a bunker guards the front left and a sloping green here. Everything feeds off to the right side down to a chipping area and then you're well below the level of the green. Four is always a good score at nine. By no means an easy par three at ten. One of the shorter holes on the golf course but with a front pin, well that's difficult let me tell you now. The back right hand pin is the one that's the chance. Normally only really a seven or an eight iron. You're just trying to camber it around from left to right. The front bunker really only comes into play one pin during the week. It's a beautiful hole, a really demanding green that slopes all the way from left to right. You will see some twos. It's a beautiful view from the 11th hitting downhill bunkers up the right and left. Most will go with the driver. If you drive it over the left bunkers, which is just over 295 yards to carry, there's some wicked rough this week. It's an uphill second shot with nothing more than a wedge to a green. You really can't see the bottom of the flagstick. A big sloping green, lots of undulations. You'll see a lot of threes here. And you're going to want to pick one up heading into the final part of the golf course. Classic par five, number 12, hitting over the top of the trees. They don't come into play, but they certainly obscure your view somewhat. Down the right-hand side is the line. There's a bunker down that side, which you 
really want to stay just short of. Turns from right to left over a penalty area. But that really doesn't tell the tale. The green sits above you. It's slopey. It's small. It has everything that needs for a par 5 of this note. One of the best holes on the golf course. You really need to find the right surface. Otherwise, you will walk off with 5. 13 is an extremely difficult tee shot. One of, if not the most difficult, at Wentworth. Bunker up the right does not come into play. The players will all fly that, but the one up the left is in play. And if you hit it in there, you're not only in a fairway bunker, but you're behind trees. The fairway slopes hard from left to right. Tough to keep it out of the right rough when it's fiery. Uphill second shot to a natural amphitheater area. Great gallery area up there. And a sloping green, four is a good score. The final par three at Wentworth, a good 10 or 12 yards up the hill to a two-tier green. It's about a six iron, maybe just a seven for the longer hitters. But really, trying to find the, the right tier of this green, there's almost three of them. It's two, but there is a little shelf on the right, which you'll probably see the pin on Sunday. A demanding par three, and certainly not a two to be made. It's more like three. Tee shot at 15 really plays through a wind tunnel up through the trees, as you can see. Playing over the heather, which is not in play, there is a penalty area with water up the right side. The further left you go, it's a bit safer. If you can keep it up the right side, a better angle into the green. And it is an extremely sloping green from right to left. Oftentimes you want to just barely clear that right bunker to use the slope and work it back to a back middle or back left hole location. An iron off the tee at par 4, 16, a couple of bunkers down the right. Really shouldn't come into play if you know your numbers, but pitching on the upslope, you never quite know really how the ball's going to react. It just turns a little from right to left. Should only really be an 8 or a 9 iron, possibly a wedge to a front pin. But the best thing about this hole is you've got one eye on the finish. So really you need to play 16 and maybe one or two under for four rounds. 17 without question, the most uncomfortable tee shot on the golf course. A sloping fairway from left to right, so you want to hit it up the left side to keep it in the fairway. But there's trees and out of bounds right there close to the fairway's edge. If you get it in the fairway, most of the time you have to play a draw off of a lie with the ball below your feet. Always difficult. The green is reachable in two even though it's 610 yards because the last 75 yards is all downhill. You can run it on the green, but once you reach the green, your work is not done. It can be very tough and tricky to read. The final hole at Wentworth, not unlike the 17th, but it runs the opposite direction, but every chance of a birdie four. You're aiming just to the right of those fairway bunkers, which are pretty deep, so they become a three-shotter if you find one of those. It turns from left to right, and then you find yourself in an incredible atmosphere on the last in front of the hospitality and the stands. Can you find the green? That's the question, otherwise you probably will make six. Three bunkers find a few errant ones to the right, but overall a classic finish and a definite birdie chance. To watch another European Tour video, click here, and to subscribe, click here.